What's up everybody? What? Those weren't even words. What is up everybody? It's Ryan and I am in Quito, downtown historic district of Quito. Today I'm pretty excited I'm going to show you guys what is probably the most central market in Quito. It's the central market and it's right here in the old town. It's a place to get amazing old school Ecuadorian food. Some of the vendors there have been around for like 60 years and really good prices. Just amazing place for food in Quito. But right now I'm in San, San, San Blas. But right now I'm in San Blas Plaza. Um, I don't even know if it's called that. This is San Blas neighborhood, San Blas church over here. And oh, this is right there, Plaza de San Blas. Uh, that's just kind of where the Central Market story starts. There was a market here, and it was like an outdoor market. It's a pretty good spot. It's close to the historic district. There are pockets of markets everywhere, but there was a fire at this one. They lost like everything. Some people were, you know, they didn't have anything left. That was their livelihoods, and it was all up in smoke. So they got together with another market, a market just kind of down the street, and they kind of talk to each other and they're like, we need to do something about this. We can't just be setting up our market in these places that aren't equipped for it. So they got together, the two market worker groups, and they went to the government and they said, we want you to donate some land and we're going to open up an awesome market. We're going to combine our two markets and have like one big market. The mayor, he said, hell yeah, let's do it. Uh, here's some land that used to be a slaughterhouse and you can use this. They built up the market and they opened it in 1952 and uh, that's, that's uh, where it stands now. So that's where I'm headed, just down the street here. I'm going to show you some really cool old school Ecuadorian dishes, some unique dishes that you've never heard of before that you probably don't even want to try because they're so bizarre. Um, and some also some really good food that I'll be eating myself. Two. No, that's a really big part of thing. Certainly. All right, so here we are. This kid's looking at me. I'm looking at him. This is the, I don't know if this would be the main entrance, but I'd say it's yeah, the main entrance of the market. We got two floors here. You can see up there, we're selling some flowers. Flowers are pretty popular here. Let's start in the bottom floor. It's the, I would say, a little darker of the two. Not quite as nice. Basically, you get all your groceries here. You get your meat, your vegetables, your fruit, even like pharmaceuticals, especially if you like traditional medicine, which you can see along here. Herbas medicinales. Medicinal herbs. I don't know what any of these are, but uh, it's kind of cool. And we got some seafood here. Fish, shrimp. Lots of good stuff. It seems as though every market has a little altar, a religious altar of sorts. Not really sure why that is, but that's how they roll. Obviously, I'm not into buying the groceries. I'm into eating the food. And there's a lot of cooked food here in this market. You can get breakfast like a uh, traditional tortilla with egg or some like green plantain tortilla with egg. You can also get like an American breakfast of sorts. So I want to show you some of the more bizarre eats first. Uh, that, that bizarre eats guy should come here. Zimmerman, Zimmerman, hit me up. You want to come try some interesting dishes in Ecuador? Uh, I don't even know if that show's still in the air. That guy's probably dead. He probably ate a giraffe penis and died or something. Okay, our first stop is this place over here it's called Doña Lucy. So she's been here a long, long ass time. And you can see up on the thing there, she's got pollo, which is chicken. Uh, she's got some frittata, which is like pork fried up. But she's also got this colada de churros, which is a kind of like snail soup, with little tiny snails. I don't know if she's got them hiding up here. You can see them. Hold on. That's the billet? Si. Si. So this is 
they call it BA, which means, I think it means the ticket. Literally, it's a cow fetus. Cow fetus cooked, like baked, and kind of served in like a stew. Huh. So that's for another day. I'm not ready for that yet. But there's another one I want to show you. Los Ricos Cueros de Maquita. The rich skin of Maquita. Maquita is a person. They did not skin a lady. Oh, no, gracias. No, no, no. No. Vegano. Okay, so she's got. Uh, sorry, I gotta ignore this lady. So this here is blood. So she's got a dish that's called El Completo. This is the tame one. It's uh, essentially blood, um, it's like skin, and uh, potatoes, avocado, a nice little mixture of some other stuff. Ubre? Ubre. Muy, muy raro. Raro? Muy bueno. So they've been making this for uh, 50 years and it's uh, cow udder. It's rice with cow udder. Totally unique. I've never seen cow udder before as in a menu item. I thought that was pretty cool, pretty interesting. And uh, not something I want to eat today. Maybe later. So that booth has been around for over 50 years and the owner is, the original owner is Makita, but now the, uh, the daughter, I believe, runs the place. So it's an interesting stop if you're looking to try something, something different here in Quito. Um, okay, I'm gonna get a drink because there are a lot of great juice places here. Guanabana, naranjilla, alfalfa, mora, coco, mix, mora, guanabana, rico. Hmm. Mora, naranjilla, naranjilla is a pretty good, good one. It's uh, it's like a tomato meets an orange. It's supposed to be pretty good. People drink juice here because because it's delicious, of course, but also because it's good for you. And I have, like, I mean, like, this has got to be alfalfa. This alfalfa? Sí. Alfalfa? Alfalfa, naranjilla, rico. Ah. Uh, tienes guan guanabana. Yeah. Okay. Alfalfa con guanabana. Si no. Si. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit of alfalfa mixed with some guanabana. Guanabana is like a soursop. Soursop Pero is uh, a custard <laughs> apple. I don't know if you guys would know that. Yeah. But I want to see. Um, as you can see, it's like really creamy. It's supposed to be it's supposed to fight cancer cells or something. See. See. Um, but uh, I'm gonna sit down. Gracias. This is my guanabana mixed with alfalfa. It's really good. A little pineapple-y, a little, little bit of like a richer kind of cherry flavor. But like creamy, like almost like banana. The creaminess to it. Banana or uh, coconut milk. I, I don't really get the alfalfa that much. Oh, I can smell it. Like grassy kind of smell. Yeah, that's really good. I also read that guanabana is good for keeping the herps away, herpes. So I won't get a herpes outbreak this month. Okay, I'm all juiced up. Now it's time for lunch. Hola, una tradicional corvinas. Gracias. This is one of my favorite meals I've had in Ecuador so far. I've I had a couple times and it's always been really good. Just fried fish. This is basically Ecuador's version of fish and chips. You can actually get the corvinas with uh, fried fried uh, potatoes, but this way is better actually. 
Gracias. So, there's a lot going on here. Let's break it all down real quick. We got some ahi sauce, it's like a hot, kind of sweet, hot sauce. We got some lime, so you can add some lime to it. This is shrimp ceviche. For some reason, Corvinus shrimp ceviche go together, I guess. All the Corvinus places serve it with a side of shrimp ceviche for some strange reason. We got some um, toasted corn and some popcorn. Mac will go in the ceviche or I can just eat it like that. And then of course we've got our fish. Big hunk of fish. There's potatoes underneath, some like roasted potatoes. What the hell's going on here? And that's what Corvinus is. Corvinus is a type of fish. So the story of Corvinus is that the fish was overfished and the price shot up, so these places that were charging relatively cheap price for the food, they didn't want to jack up their prices. They didn't want to change their names either, so they just started serving a different type of fish. They kept the name Las Corvinas de Dom Jimmy. The other one down there is something like Las Corvinas de Gloria. They all have these names with Corvinas in them, but they didn't want to change their names, so they just said, you know, we'll just keep the name and we'll just serve a different fish. Nobody seems to mind, I guess. I don't know. To me, it's like, it's a white, flaky fish and it's delicious. I believe this is probably mahi-mahi. It's a popular fish to use with corvinus, which is a type of fish. It doesn't make any sense. All right, I'm gonna dig into some ceviche first because it's just so appealing. Ceviche is amazing here. I'm not gonna get into the details because I'm gonna do another video about it. It deserves its own video. So good though. Mm. The shrimps are so juicy. I love, I love that they give you wine presses at your table in Ecuador. Very, very common. And I love fresh lime juice squeezed on cooked food. Just adds that acid that so much food is lacking. You just get it like fresh. It should be on like every table, like salt and pepper shakers. So this fish is huge. It's deep fried, crispy, flaky on the inside. destroyed by this meal is so filling. I got about, um, this, these are potato halves, so I got about two potatoes, maybe two and a half. A giant piece of fish and the ceviche. It's a lot. And the cost is pretty reasonable. Six bucks for this. A really good deal, really. A really, really, really good deal, really, really. If you go to the movies, you're paying six bucks just for that popcorn. Is that back in? People both have that like stone and wash, is that what it's called? I'll have to get me a jacket. More hot sauce. These potatoes really come to life. Put that hot sauce on them. They're good. They're like a little crispy on the outside, kind of soft and mashed potato y on the inside. And that hot sauce is boom, zings you. Boom, zings ya. Boom, zings ya. Boom, zings ya. So this does have a bone in it, but it's like the easiest bone to operate. That big spine piece, which is, just comes out in one piece. Really, really not a problem at all. I hate fish that's really bony, like where there's bones going in all the directions. It's impossible to, to Take it on. Possible to 
What's that word when you have to like go through stuff like a maze, like? talking about anyone. So fish in Ecuador overall is every piece of fish I've had has been fantastic. There's sea fish, there, we went for trout up in like the kind of the jungle area. It's all been really good. Um, so if you don't like fish, come to Ecuador, try some fish out. And if you still don't like it, then just die somewhere. Just go into the ditch and die because that's what I that's how I, that's how I feel. I'm gonna sign off because I'm getting all fired up now. Now I'm gonna finish this off and then I'm gonna go into six year coma. So next video might be a little late. Make sure you subscribe and stick around because there's lots more to come. Uh, I got lots of old videos you should check out. And I got some new little new coming up. New idea, I'm thinking about doing. I don't know. I'm not gonna announce it because I might wake up one day and think it's a bad idea. Or I might just forget whatever the hell I was doing. You know. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't talk with your mouth full unless you're shooting video. And then it's okay. Prefer when I'm by myself. I don't want to hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm really going to Fuck around and buy the home mall. Breaking that cake, flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I'm safe. Look at my face, look at my grace. Don't match up, no.